Hey guys, it's Sai. Welcome to my kitchen. So today we're gonna to be making lentil shepherd's pie, one of my go-to recipes during the winter when you just want something warm and hearty to fill you up on those cold winter days. So I've already laid out everything that we need for the lentil base, which we're going to make first. Take a look. Let's start chopping. We've got all the vegetables chopped. We're gonna add some oil to the pan and get them sauteed a little bit. While that's cooking, I'm gonna prepare the herbs. Got the parsley here. The last step for the lentils before we throw them in and get them boiling. The veggies are slightly brown, so we're gonna add the lentils with the water. So the lentils are on their way, 40 to 50 minutes of cooking. Now remember that for an easier option, you can use canned lentils. So that would skip that whole cooking process. You could basically just saute the vegetables, add the lentils, and then you'll be ready to go. So it's definitely an option if you are running short on time. So we're gonna get started on the potatoes now. Boiling, so let's add some salt. Put those potatoes in there. Be careful. <laughs> this is probably a safe way to do it. Check on the lentils, see how they're doing. Now's a good time to also get your oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have this nifty microwave oven. Yeah, Japan life. The lentils are done. I'm gonna give that one final taste test. Make sure all the spices are on point. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. So I always leave the salt to add at the end because, well, I put a little bit in, but not too much because you can put it in, but you can't take it out. Potatoes are also done, so I'm gonna drain those. Make sure you get the full fat kind because that's the trick, that's like, I was amazed when I realized this, but if you add just the straight up coconut milk with full fat, you don't need to add any kind of margarine or any other oils. Um, I don't particularly like vegan margarine because it's got palm oil, so I stick to coconut milk. It's amazing. So the key here is to just add a little bit at a time so that you can eventually get to the consistency that you want. Well, there you have it guys, a beautiful, delicious lentil shepherd's pie. Now, this took about an hour and a half to make total. So if you're running short on time, I would definitely suggest switching out the dried lentils with pre-cooked or canned lentils. As you can see, it is a huge portion, so this will definitely last you, depending on how many people you are, but for one or two people, at least two or three meals. It's a really, really good option if you don't want to have to cook every meal of every day, like me. I would serve this with a side of greens like kale, broccoli, or spinach because you can never have too many greens. 
Share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to check out my website at www.exercise.com for more recipes and videos. Take care and stay warm. Bye.